And they would choke you? No. And hit you? Yes. I was just freezing, I was starving. I was alone, I was scared. Paris Hilton, you probably know the name. But the person behind the name, maybe not so much. She would say things to me after, like, I still have nightmares. I, I still in the middle of my night, I feel, I, you know, she would say that. But it was, it was our way of saving you. All it did was give me trust issues, post-traumatic stress disorder. I didn't deserve to go there. To the TTI survivors out there breaking code silence, I see you and I support you. Something happened in my childhood that I've never talked about with anyone, but I couldn't tell you guys because every time I tried, I would get punished by them. I still have nightmares about it. The last school that I went to was Provo Canyon School, and that was the worst of the worst. I started screaming for my mom and dad, like, help me, and no one came. I saw my parents standing by their door, crying, I was like, please help me, what's happening? And no one would tell me what was happening. You're sitting on a chair, staring at a wall all day long, getting yelled at or hit. This is so important that you tell your story because you're going to help other survivors. It was, it was very difficult for me because I, it wasn't something I ever wanted to talk about in public. They wouldn't prescribe everyone all these pills. I didn't know what they were giving me. I would just feel so tired and numb. But everyone would tell on everyone and they found a Kleenex with all of the pills in it. And I got in so much trouble for that. They'd make people take their clothes off and go in there like for 20 hours. Felt like I was going crazy. Someone was in the other room that was like in a straight jacket, screaming. Kayla Smith was at PCS from 2010 to 2013, spoke about being restrained at eight years old. It's traumatizing. It's very scary. Mostly, it just scares you more. A couple years ago when I started researching and going into it and everything was coming back to me, I wanted to do something, but at the same time, I was like, this is going to hurt my brand. I can't have this as part of my business, and, you know, people won't understand. It's weird that, like, a lot of survivors, they wake up, like, after, like, 15, 20 years, and, like, wow, like, it hits them, and they are ready to talk about it. We are aware of a new documentary referencing Provo Canyon School, PCS. Please note that PCS was sold by its previous ownership in August 2000. We therefore cannot comment on the operations or patient experience prior to that time. We are committed to providing high quality care to youth with special and often complex emotional, behavioral, and psychiatric needs. This will be the first step we're taking towards positive social change. We need your help. Please stand with all of us survivors and let's shut Provo down.